Happy Halloween. Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. I'm July. I am wish I had a brain, Kara. <laughs> I can't do anything without my brain. I'm October. <laughs> <laughs> and a scarecrow. You look like a very cute scarecrow. I like, right? How adorable I is like this? I little nose and everything. So, you know, if you're thinking like, gosh, I haven't figured it out, raid your closet. That's what we all did to be a month of the year. So you're coming up, you're going to see everybody dressing up in different months. I just think this is so much fun. And it was so Thank easy. You. Hey, Caitlin Amato. Yeah, for Kate Amato really, uh, really uh, helped me out and hooked me up with this completely great car. Although the shirt is mine. I got it at Banana Republic. So uh, not recently, about 10 years ago. Yeah. All right. So what's your favorite Halloween candy? Oh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Me, me too. Yeah. Everybody, every, uh, that's just the. I mean, you know I'm a dark chocolate fan, but when it comes to Halloween, uh, Reese's do, peanut butter. Do they not make Reese's pieces dark chocolate peanut butter cups? They do. They're hard to find. Yeah, they, they are very difficult to find. Yeah. I, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you. But uh, so this is not just us. According to a survey from Instacart, yes. one of my favorite things on the planet. A hundred percent. Reese's peanut butter cups are the top pick across the entire U.S. M&M's, sneaker, Snickers, peanut M&M's, and Twix. All the chocolate round up the top five. In our state, peanut butter cups are also the most popular as well. And people here buy Sour Patch Kids more than the national average. My face scrunches up when I even say the word Sour Patch Kid. Yeah. Because you put it in your mouth and you hold mouth. And you're just going, blah, 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 blah. I feel like Ray Bolger. Wasn't he the, wasn't he the scarecrow? The actor. I didn't yeah, I think it was the was actor. Okay. Kate. Google that, would you? I think I am. All right, take a look at these cuties playing dress up in the NICU. Aww, oh, my take a God. look. I love I it. Love the little babies. This look at is this at the Cleveland cow. Clinic in Ohio, right. and they're dressing up all the little NICU babies in the neonatal intensive care unit. Everything oh. from a caterpillar to a football player. Look at oh, the little caterpillar. Look at the cow. Look at the oh, little, oh. little bride. Look oh, at Taylor that. Swift. That's Taylor Swift. Oh, my God. So adorable. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, I love them when they're that. Size, little I bundle. know, so sweet. Aww, All right, okay. President Biden alongside First Lady Jill Biden dressed in a panda costume. They welcomed parents and children to the White House last night as part of the Trick or Treat Halloween celebration. <laughs> there was a little viral moment. Uh, this is when President Biden decided to bite the baby because the baby was a chicken. The baby was dressed like a little chicken. And so he just is being like, his, he's trying to be a cute grandpa. So people are talking about that. <laughs> The baby likes it, clearly. Yeah, they called it Hollow Reed in honor of uh, First Lady's four years of teaching, which I think is just terrific. So. Nice. Good, good, good. All right, so if you don't want to cook a full Thanksgiving feast, your house can still smell like you did. This is unbelievable, right? I'm totally getting this. Just order out and then light one of these up. So they're your favorite Thanksgiving side, courtesy of Campbell's. Green bean casserole, no. Mm -mm. I love green bean casserole. I can't gonna, believe... You want a candle that smells like that? Of course. Why no. not? And jalapeno cheddar mac and cheese. Interesting. Apple fennel herb stuffing. Bagel seasoned mashed potatoes. Oh, my God. That smells so delicious. Sounds so delicious. Now, the idea is to experience your favorite holiday side dish flavors beyond the holiday table. The candles go on sale November 18th. So get those. Uh... Probably at Campbell's. Like, oh, you can get a gift box. That oh, would be Oh, look this. at that. That is perfect for anyone who has a Yankee swap or a white elephant party. Perfect. I yeah. love it. I bet you everyone will fight over that one if you get that. My, uh, my scars are coming off. I apologize. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Burger King is the latest to jump into the holiday calendar, advent calendar uh, mode. The fast food chain says it's 12-day BK advent calendar nods to the past and the present. Okay, so you're going to get chicken fries and, of course, the Whopper. You also get daily curated gifts, they say. But, it, like, are the, like, is there a coupon in there for, like, you go it's to the store? It's under 20 bucks. I'm not sure what else you get. They haven't said exactly, but you think it's coupons. Yeah, I'm I mean, you can't really put food in those little boxes, no, can you? No, especially, well, the fries would be good 95 years from now. Yeah. So, like I found when, you know, when every mom knows you're cleaning out the back of your car, they look the same. They look the same. They taste the same. I eat them as well. <laughs> I didn't say I ate them. I said they oh, look I'm the totally, same. totally, totally eating French fries that are in the cracks of the car seats. All right, talk about a, maybe a fun family trip. Netflix and MGM Resorts are teaming up. They're creating a Netflix-inspired restaurant at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. It's going to be called Netflix Bites. And it's slated to open as a culinary residence. So you'll have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you'll have anything from your favorite shows. Like maybe you're going to have, you know, Stranger Things. Those are, oh, look at them. They're, yeah, they've Squid gotten Games, so old. Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Squid Game. Yeah, so uh, these are all going to be food inspired by your favorite series. Okay. I wonder what they'll give you for the perfect couple. Uh, or Squid Arsenic. Games. Arsenic. I don't know, exactly. <laughs> That's quite the quite the show on Netflix. Barbiturate brownies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's just, well, I don't want to spoil yeah, it for you. Yeah, don't spoil it. Okay. All right. Now, a big change is coming to Starbucks next week. The company says starting on November yeah. 7th, it's no longer going to charge customers an extra fee to substitute non-dairy milk. I think that milk. makes sense. It totally makes sense. So like, many of us are choosing non-dairy milks for lots of health 100%. reasons. And it's one of the restaurants where you can really go and get a variety of them, and, and, and they don't look like, you, like you're strange. I mean, I do order a non-dairy milk. Is do it you? Just, I, no, it I doesn't, don't. It doesn't sit right with me anymore, the real dairy. Oh, so, interesting. All you right. know. Um, I know Melissa Cole's here. She's the beautiful month of May. She doesn't order dairy either. <laughs> Or gluten. <laughs> so funny. All right. Cirque du Soleil's first Christmas show is coming to the Toyota Oakdale Theater in Wallingford. Channel 3 has your tickets. Yeah, we're giving away a family four-pack of tickets. Twas, twas the night before. Yeah. Today's winner is Sharon Babin. Way to go, Sharon. From New Britain. And you can enter to win right now. You still have a chance on our Facebook page. Uh, we'll announce the final winner tomorrow at 3. Make sure you like us while you're there. And, hey, follow Scott and I. Absolutely. All right. We have got a very special guest that's coming into the studio. Joe, can you come here Joe, for a second? Joe, could you just come here, just for, come here, one second. here for a second? Oh, it's too late now. Joe, We're come live. On here. Come here. Too Joe, late. Joe. Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe. Come on, Joe, Joe. Joe. Come sit. Come sit on the couch, oh, Joe, Joe. Oh, Geisler Supermarket. Oh. Your hometown. We used this to sing that Petrolito. at like 3 o'clock in the been, morning for years. When did you start? 1998? 98. Yeah. 98. He's been here 26 years and he's retiring. Today is his last day I at don't Channel like to 3. Say retire. I'm just, just, I won't be working here. You won't be working here. He's moving on to another generation of work and love doing and family nothing. and I'm fun. Doing nothing. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. You're so wonderful to work with. Yeah, I have so many great Joe. memories. 3 a.m. singing Geisler Supermarket. You, me, and Eric Hurst. Yes. Remember? Oh my yes. God, Every, so like, early funny. morning. Early shots. morning. That You know, you guys were my TV husband. We were driving out to who knows where mm -hmm. what would you like to say is there any kind of memory or anything that like a, a favorite memory here at channel three there's so many i know there there is a lot there you know you go through a lot of emotions in a place like this because you're here for really good times yep, you're here for, for really, really bad, bad times. times and you're here for you know just everything in between and um you know the people that i've worked with here there's too many to name but i've had you know, close relationships with a lot of them. Which and is so terrific, Joe. That's the kind of guy you yeah, are. Yeah, well, um, you know, I, I, I'm almost at a loss for words, but um, a lot of the people here are very special. Good. And uh, that's something that will stay with me for a long time. Joe Petrolito, ladies and gentlemen, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to get him. I know, that I know. Right okay, there, it was a little line. bit of a surprise, was, and we promise not to keep you out here I, too long. All right, well, Joe, read the tease while we've got you. Uh, we have a great show on the way for your Thursday afternoon <laughs> coming up next from County to Rock. So much more. Jim Bozzi is here. Where is he? Uh, with a rundown of some great concerts coming to our state. All right, but, but first, first. You're awesome. But first, I'm sorry. I didn't mean That's to okay. But first, a Halloween treat for your tiny ghouls and goblins. Oh, Melissa Cole, man. Kate Francis, and Renee Danino are here to show us how to make a Halloween boo board filled with snacks. Great day, Connecticut. We'll be right back. Congratulations, Congratulations Joe. Joe. Thanks.